what scares narcissists. What makes them afraid? What makes them nervous? What prevents them from gaining access into your life? Most people in these types of situations become very alert and attentive. They pay close attention to what the narcissist is doing. They become very observant. They are quick to notice or perceive things because they're trying to figure things out. They're trying to become aware of something that was not previously known in the hopes that they can then stop them in their tracks, in the hopes that they can then stop them from continuing with their intended course of action. But this is actually very unreasonable and irrational behavior. Because now you're just trying to control everything the narcissist does. Which is what narcissists do. You cannot be in two places at the same time. You cannot have eyes everywhere. You cannot anticipate everything that the narcissist is going to do. It's not realistic or practical. And you're just going to drive yourself insane by trying to operate in that way. You're not going to scare them away by constantly trying to be on top of them. Or by trying to expose their behavior. It's just going to make your life more difficult. Because then you always have to be one step ahead of them. You always have to be better prepared. It's not only going to take up all of your time and energy, but it's just not a respectable way to behave. It's not good to chase someone around and try to anticipate what they're going to do next. The narcissist isn't going to care. They're just going to see it as a game. They're going to find it amusing. They're going to lead you into thinking that you're onto something. When really, you're just running on this endless hamster wheel going nowhere. A more efficient way to scare the narcissist is to become a liability to them. Be a person whose presence and behavior is likely to put them at a disadvantage, which will then display to them that you're not worth their time. Being around you is going to cause them more problems than it's worth. Narcissists are always involved in making secret and underhand plans. They're always trying to control the environment. They're always trying to observe everything that's going on. And they will throw some bait your way. They will do something to entice you. They will try to attract or tempt you by offering pleasure or advantage. Which then helps them to determine if you are going to be a good victim for them. But if you just sit back and let them do all of the work, they're not going to want to deal with you. You don't need to anticipate everything that they're going to do. You don't need to figure everything out. You need to develop strength. 
you need to develop the emotional and mental qualities required to deal with them. You need to be unmoved, unaffected by emotional excitement, unchanged in your purpose or intention. When you're not paying attention to their informational instructions, they don't want anything to do with you. And by doing that, you could end up exposing their behavior. You could become a danger to them. When you cross the line and you behave in a way that they don't deem to be acceptable, they're not going to want to deal with you anymore. Because then you become more of a problem than you're worth. They want it easy. They want everything to be convenient for them. But if you're no longer under their control, they will avoid you. Because now they recognize that they're not able to control you anymore. It will complicate everything. It will make them very confused. And they will be forced to notice you now. They will be forced to give their attention and concern to you. They will still talk bad about you. They will still think that there's something wrong with you. But they will be forced to respect that you now have the ability to influence their behavior. You now have the ability to affect and change how they behave around you. Because you have changed their beliefs and opinions about you. What scares narcissists is when you don't become unsettled very easily, when you don't feel anxious around them. When they can't keep you off balance, when you don't respond to their intimidation tactics, when you remain firm and strong and you passively resist their authority, it scares them. But it should always be passive, rather than overreactive. When you respond with intense emotions, it displays a lack of strength. It tells them that they've still got a hold in you. They've still got a strong influence and effect in you. But when you regain control over your own reactions and emotions, that is what scares them away. You have to become unfazed, not bothered by anything, relaxed in any situation. You have to recognize your value. You have to recognize the level at which you deserve to be treated and your level of importance and usefulness to them. Because your level of importance should demand a certain level of treatment. But narcissists want the goods for free. They don't want to invest anything into you. Because they know that if they can trick you into doubting your worth and abilities, they're going to get whatever they want from you without giving you anything in return. But when you know your worth and the treatment that you deserve, it will scare them away because that makes it less convenient for them. It's so much easier for them when they get everything for free without having to invest anything into you.
But when you realise your worth, that's what scares them away. That's what then gives you the ability to continue your growth, progress and positive change away from them. When you realise your worth and you become strong, that is when they will reject and dismiss you. They won't want anything to do with you because your strength has scared them away. You threaten everything they stand for. You threaten their mistaken oppression by being honest and strong. You become more of a problem than you're worth. You become a liability to them. You're too difficult for them to deal with by not giving them attention and assistance that they do not deserve. That they have not gained deservedly in return for their behavior or achievements. Because they don't value you. They just expect your attention. They expect your admiration while never doing anything to earn it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.